good to finish. finish. Early morning here in Montana. We're out here, we're about to go fishing here with Braden. Hey everybody. Braden's new to the channel. We're gonna go out for a day of fishing, just check out the lower part of this river and see if there's some big ones. That's why we're up super early because we're trying to beat the boat traffic. Right now the parking lot's freaking empty, except for us. So that is definitely in our favor right now. <laughs> Get up early, it's good. Get up early, go fish early, go fish late. Get on the water when people aren't on the water because that's oftentimes when you'll find the biggest fish, the best fishing, the least crowds. And then by the time you get off and you go get your breakfast, you're done with that and you get back on the river, all the boats have gone through. It's a great program, so that's what we're doing. If you guys have uh, been paying attention to my channel lately, you're, you'll know that I'm a, on a little bit of a spay bender. You know, it may be the best way to catch the fish, it may not be the best way to catch the fish, but either way, it's super fun. It's a great way to cover a bunch of water on foot, throwing streamers. So we're gonna rig up one of these streamers here. Still not sure which one I'm gonna fish, but probably something on the smaller side. Maybe I'll start with a, one of these yellow little dungeons here and uh, see how she goes. So we'll do some swinging, see if we can drum up something. I'm fishing my four weight hydrogen and I'm, use, I'm gonna start with a smaller sink tip. This is just a five foot section, T11 down to 20 pound floral and um, yeah, see what happens. Let's do it. Uh, when you have short arms like I do, it's good to have a stick with a hook so you can get all your shit out. Look at that, so streamlined. I recently met Braden at a local fly shop and when we started talking about Trout's Bay and how he's been a subscriber to my channel for years, we quickly became friends. Thank you for the shove, Braden. Of course, my friend. We're officially off. He grew up in Washington and has a lot more experience with a two-handed rod than I do. So I was excited to learn a few things and see how he gets it done. <laughs> that was if you eat as soon as it hit the water. We swung that run, uh, I switched to 10 feet of T11 and started getting down. That seemed to be the ticket with a mini Olive Envy. And we started moving fish in the tail out, which was kind of weird because it's pretty fast water, but maybe it's because it's hot. Um, yeah, big one came up and ate it, and I fumbled a hook set as is tradition, and I lost it, but we're still in the game. Let's go. Not bad fish. It's not a bad fish. Not a whitey either. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, you wanna keep that flying up the Yeah. It's happened like it should, you know. I'm in the middle. <laughs> a jig in and it stops. In the middle. Yeah. Yeah, it came out from pretty pretty far out there. You're like definitely drenched. I've definitely been fishing above them. Like That's too high in the water. Too. I was hoping they were gonna come up. You know? But we may have to go down to them. Play their game, you know? I think you're right. Spay fishing. It'd be great if the fish liked it too. Uh, 
I love the sound of that reel. Thank you. It's an old lamp. Sick. Where is my granddad? That was sick. That looked like a good one, dude. It did. I grabbed it hard. What? Oh. What happened here, man? Not that bad of a bed, but it's bad. The question is, do I continue <laughs> with this fly? The smart thing would be no, but I, just, I yeah. normally just do. <laughs> I'll keep fishing it if that happens again. Oh, there's a bump. There's a bump. Come on, just commit to it. Oh. <laughs> that oh. Got oh. Jeez. I'm trying to learn the best way to make bait pass. Oh my goodness. Jesus. Alright, well they're sitting in there. Changing the fly. Sorry. It looks too small. Too small, yeah. <laughs> There's no fish in here. It's a fish, dude. It's a big fish. Oh, f it's a stick. Oh. Big fish. Oh my god. Big fish. Big fish. Morning fish is done. Fishing was not the best ever, but we got some. We got some eats, which is all that really matters. That's the most fun part, anyways. It's just that hookup, especially on the spay, on the swing. It's really fun just touching some nice fish. We know they're in there, but we just ate lunch. We're loading up the little raft now. We're gonna go to some sneaky small water. Braden knows some, some good zones to throw the hopper and see if we can find a fish. I'm still not on the board today and I would like to get on the board, so we're gonna try and do that. Loading up the little watercraft here. Got the little boat. Little boat hasn't seen the water in quite some time, but we're gonna go somewhere a little bit sneaky. See if we can't scare something up on some hoppers. Yeah, bud. I think the dry fly game might be a little bit more forgiving. We've been playing the streamer game for a minute, and uh, as you probably know, the streamers can be hit or miss. It's, a, it's not a numbers game, it's a quality of fish game. And sometimes when you put all the chips on the table, you don't win the pot. It's just how it goes. It's part of the ball game. It's the streamer fishing. You either catch them or you don't. So we're gonna switch back to dry fly fishing. It's July, it's hopper season. Let's throw some hoppers. to this Two. we've been fishing hard today we got a bit five on the water by six and still I haven't even landed a fish this is really fun to fish regardless of the catching part I like fishing cool water eat it eat the bug eat it just eat the bug oh right there come on eat somebody it. come out and just just bone. knows it. The placa stand. Ooh! That looked like an eat. Was that a fish? Yeah, I think it was. It looked like a nose, dude. Oh, that'd be the coolest. Just like slurp, slurp. That's a spot. That'll do. That's a spot of fish. Is That'll do. There's a nice shelf down to our right, too. Yeah, there is. Well, been on this creek for a little bit. Still getting my ass kicked. It's time for Braden to show us how it's done. All right. Let's do some fishing, huh? Wow, this right channel looks so good. Oh, everything looks so good. Choose town. 
Where are we supposed to fish? Oh, that looks good where you're at. Every, everywhere looks so, so tasty. I love the sound of the hoppers. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a reassuring sign, you know? It's definitely reassuring. It's like, we're not total idiots. There's at least... <laughs> <laughs> we're not total. <laughs> there are grasshoppers. There like are hoppers in the vicinity. They exist here. Oh, that's such a nice drift. That's the spot. That's like the water, right? That's the spot. That fast stuff. That's the water. Right, right, there. There. right there. Right there. Come out of there. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Ooh. That was a big fish. That was a big fish. Yeah, that was a big mouth. Dude, that was just the mouth. That was just the mouth. That hey, was did just you see the, the white? Mouth. Yeah, did you see it? Yeah. That was insane. That was a place a big one should be. <laughs> that was a big one. Did I hit it too quick? I don't, I don't think so. I Might black out. Refusal. The moment a fish moves, I black out. <laughs> Those are my favorite big fish spots. Just like total nothing water. <laughs> like why is there anything there at all? It's intriguing. Oh, that was a decent fish. Ate it. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> Let's go. Tank. Activity. Breeds activity. 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 <laughs> oh yeah, right there. That's a spot. Yes! Eat it! Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it! Oh my god. <laughs> come on. I'm at the bank, I just want to get paid, you know? Oh, just come sniff it a little bit. Just maybe, maybe sniff it. Maybe taste it. Oh, we are... RF'd, you know what that means? RF? Yep. RF'd. We are F'd? Rat f***ed. Oh man. Good fish? No, but really good line management. Yeah. All right, we're back in control. Holy Hopper. Smokes. Dude, that seems like it's a not good a bad fish. fish. That's not a bad fish. No, it's not at all. Oh, maybe it's got a little bit more to it than I thought. I thought I saw Dude, it. Dude, it's running upstream. It is. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I saw it. It's like that on 14. That's still good. It's just giving me the beans because I'm weak. Wow, the anchor stops this thing on a dime. I'll go get it. Sorry, dude. You're good. Just being a cameraman over here. Nice. Look at that hopper in its mouth. Hell yeah. Good fish. All right, bye buddy. Sick. Man, he was aggressive. Yeah. We, All right, they're looking for it. Let's go. It ran upstream. It seems like it, it could did, have been a dude. Big one. It, it was digging. I was like, that's not that small. You said I, small. I was, like, yeah, I was pulling small. on it hard, but he was giving me the beans. Down in your right again. Nice. Yes, yes. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right, right there. This is the first dink we've actually landed today, so I'll take it. But it's a brown trout, so it counts. It's about, it, it counts, for sure. Counts. I would agree. Hoppers are another way to get those same kind of fish. It's hopper it's season. It's oh. off. You want to try to get it? Uh, if I break it off, I break it off. Okay. We don't need to try. Yes, got my hopper. That's all that matters. I'm going to cut the nymph it's off nice. anyways. It's cool. not catching shit. They're not going to eat it. Who cares? Nobody wants to see that. No one wants to see that. This is a really big one. No one who's watching cares. Ooh, that's a good fish. fish. That's a good fish. Sick eat, dude. On the hopper. All right, let's see if I can get back over here. Bring this fish across. Very cool fish, bro. Good fish. Great looking trout. Yes. Let's go, dude. Uh, we worked hard for that one. We worked hard for this yeah, fish. I think he ate that thing deep, too. It's not the biggest fish ever, but after 
Oh, is, After a day, man, it's a pretty one too. It's just a really colored up brown on the hopper. As soon as we cut off the nymph, thankfully. All right, there we go. Dude, that's a nice a Great brown. trout. Montana brown trout. Good Montana brown. Oh, look at that kipe draw and everything. Oh yeah, baby. That feels so good. <laughs> Thankfully, I snagged my nymph on a log, broke it off, and it wasn't more than like four or five casts later after breaking the nymph off. Right on the bank, nondescript water, not, it was super pockety. I think that fish just came right out from the undercut and just slurped that hopper down. Upstream eat right at us, and I saw the dark color of the fish turn, and we both knew it was a good one immediately. That was tied to the bank. Super That tied was to on the bank. the bank. Absolutely on it. Super. I mean, look at the bank that it came off of. That's, there's no pockets really. It just came out from the undercut, Nate. Yeah, it's in the, they're in the fast water. Well, we've come to a little rapid on the creek. We're portaging some of our gear, and then Brayden's gonna run it in his little boat. We spent a little bit of time scoping it out, and there's a few little sketchy rocks in there. Not sure how this is gonna go, but it'll be a send and it'll be entertaining to watch. The water master. Master of water. Getting out on the water to swing some flies with a new friend was a valuable experience. Braden is dialed with the spay rod, and I learned a lot from watching him cast. We then spent the afternoon float fishing a totally different stream, throwing foam hoppers at undercut banks. The fish didn't come easy, but our time spent on the water paid off with a few nice fish to hand. I couldn't think of a more well-rounded day of summertime trout fishing, and a huge thanks to Braden for hosting. If you liked this video, please drop a comment below and hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.